Good evening, Camels. Welcome back to Camel Now TV, your number one source for all things Campbell. I'm Wally Ashaye. And I'm Madison Gentry. Gaylord's beloved Gladys is back in the creek. Over the weekend, Gladys, the former female counterpart to Gaylord, made her return. Donations helped the university reach its goal of $10,000 to bring back the long-awaited leading lady. Children, parents, and students were even able to stop and take pictures with Gladys. You can see Gladys and Gaylord together again at events all over campus. The Campbell University Student Government Association held a dance marathon over the weekend in Carter Gym to raise funds and awareness for Duke Children's Hospital. Gray Barnhill was there and he has a story. It's time for the Camels for the Kids Dance Marathon. I'm here in Carter Gym to give you the story. So grab your dancing shoes, jump to the music, and step to the rhythm because it's time to get down and boogie. giving them best practices and here locally we have five dance marathon programs that, that benefit our local children's miracle network hospital and that's Duke Children's. Um, and so it's just a, a movement of co college students who, who want to make a difference in the life of a child and, um, and not only that, make a difference um, in the lives of families who are, who are very close to their campuses um, so they can really see and feel, feel that impact that they're making. Also that night, Campbell's enjoyed their first Pi Professor event. Students paid $2 to push a pie in face of their favorite professors. All the money also went to Duke Children's Hospital. By the end of the night, more than $6,000 were raised. As you probably know, next week is Founders Week here at Campbell. We just wanted to let you know about some of the awesome events that will be happening next week. On Monday, there will be a shirt swap in Academic Circle. Wednesday is Giving Day, on Thursday the Highland Games will be held in Academic Circle, and on Saturday there will be home games for both the men and women's basketball teams at Gore Arena. Apply to become an orientation leader for the summer of 2019 and help welcome the incoming class of Fighting Camels to campus. Applicants must be rising sophomores, juniors, or seniors and maintain at least a 3.0 GPA. Being an orientation leader is a great way to gain leadership experience and make memories that will last a lifetime. Be sure to submit your application to see you hired by February 8th. If you can't help out over the summer, don't worry. Residence Life is looking for community assistance for the fall 2019 school year. Previously, community assistants were known as RAs, or resident assistants. But Campbell is striving to make this position community-centered, so the title CA has been coined. If you want more information, a meeting is being held Thursday, January 31st at 8 p.m. in Runley Center. You can also contact Residence Life with any questions. We'll be right back with more Campbell news after this short break.
tomorrow, January 31st at 12 p.m., the inaugural John Marshall Lecture will take place at Campbell Law School. Dean J. Rich Leonard will discuss his most recent Campbell Law Review article that features Justice Marshall's time in Raleigh. This event is part of the law school's year-long From the Capitol to the Creek celebration. Campbell Law School is celebrating the 10th anniversary of their move to Raleigh and the 40th anniversary of its first graduating class. You can register online at campbell.edu. If you feel overwhelmed about your course load and other responsibilities, you should attend the Academic Skill Workshop. You'll learn how to create the perfect schedule that gives time to do schoolwork and time to relax. The workshop takes place at Wiggins Library on February 11th from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. You can reserve your spot by emailing Dr. Bernice Austin at baustin at campbell.edu. If you like trivia and you like prizes, you should attend CAB's Trivia Night. Test your knowledge against other students and you might leave with a cool prize. Join at Shouse Dining Hall tomorrow night at 8 p.m. to compete. <coughs> Join CAB on February 1st to watch the Hurricanes go head-to-head -head against the Las Vegas Golden Knights. Admission is only 5 bucks. The trip is scheduled to leave at 5 p.m. from the Fine Arts Building. If you're interested, head to the info desk at Oasis to find out more. The streaming wars are heating up. Netflix is huge, but it also has some viewers watching a surprising competitor. Taylor Decker reached out to the gaming community on campus to see where their loyalty lies. Fortnite is a major rival for Netflix when it comes to winning people's leisure time. Between studying and going to class, I found students who like to do a little bit of both. Let's hear what they have to say about these streaming services. 100 people start in every battle royale. And then you gotta fight your way to the end and um, survive the storm and be the last one standing. Fortnite is by far one of the most popular games of all time. Studies shows that it has become a big competitor with Netflix. I asked a few Campbell students which of the two they spend more time doing. Honestly, it truly depends if my friends are playing Fortnite or not. Fortnite. 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 Uh, I play Fortnite more uh, just because like, all my friends are doing it too. I mean, I hang out with more people than I would if I didn't. If I just sitting here and played by myself, I wouldn't have friends, but play with friends, you make more. Each game lasts about 20 minutes if you are a pro. Senior Michael McLam explained how the game fits into his daily routine. Wake up in the morning, go to class. In between classes, come back here and play Fortnite. After class, come back here and play Fortnite. Eat, play Fortnite, pretty much it. He also gave advice to the companies competing for screen time. Don't try. I mean, they, you're not gonna, you're not gonna be Fortnite, I mean, like it's already top. They took Epic Games from a two or three million dollar company, turned them into a 15 billion dollar company. I feel like you can't really compete with it. Black Ops tried and they came out with Blackout and nobody really plays that. So I feel like they just need to let Fortnite mellow out before they make another game. Where they at? They went to the right. Netflix has a lot of competition and growth, but it won't slow down. Studies shows that it will remain at the top. In the meantime, keep running from the storm cloud and fight your way to number one. I'm Taylor Decker, reporting for Campbell Now. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Taylor. Netflix has started to release its own interactive shows with a choose-your-own-adventure option, starting with a Netflix original, Bandersnatch. The beautiful photography of John Parks will be on display in the lobby of Taylor Botts Rogers Fine Arts Building until February 26th. John Parks specializes in film photography. So most of his photographs are in black and white, which gives him this stunning vintage look. The focus of this particular exhibit will be on North Carolina's farmers and their families. Be sure to stop by and take a look. The Office of Spiritual Life will host the 2019 Spring Fling on March 30th in Gore Arena. This event is dedicated to developmentally disabled adults within the local community. Join the fun and make a positive impact on the lives of others. For more information on how you can get involved, contact the Office of Spiritual Life. We'll be right back with a quick look at sports and state news after this.
basketball team beat the Presbyterian Blue Hose this past Thursday, January 24th in Gore Arena in a 77-73 win. The Camels were led by Chris Clemens, who scored 26 points, and Andrew Udy, who scored a career high of 30 points and 11 rebounds. The team forced a turnover in the last seconds of play, and Udy hit both ends of a one-on-one -on -one with 12 and a half seconds of play left in the game. This victory is the men's third straight win this season and is their seventh win against Presbyterian. Campbell has improved to a 4-1 in-league play for the first time since the 2013-2014 season. A former chef for President Barack Obama and Donald Trump will be feeding the hungry thanks to the North Carolina Lottery. Roberto Mendoza of Charlotte won $250,000 after buying a scratch-off ticket at a local convenience store. Mendoza said that he will be using what's left after taxes to build a cafeteria in the Dominican Republic. Mendoza says he has wanted to give back and feed those in need since high school. Now, he finally has the chance to pursue his goal. A Raleigh police officer made a life for a struggling family in a bit better. A local 10-year-old, Peyton Horton, had her bike stolen from her. This was piled on top of her father's recent cancer diagnosis, leading to a tough situation for anyone, let alone young Peyton. Responding officer Mitch Taylor felt he had to do something and took to the situation, took his situation to the commanding officer. Tally asked if he could purchase a bike for Horton and was given the okay to do so. Tally bought a new bike and brought it to the family who was grateful to him and to God for thanking their life a bit better during the hard time. That's all the time we have tonight. Thanks for joining us. I'm Wally Ashaye. And I'm Madison Gentry. Don't forget to tune in next week for the Monday night edition of Campbell Now TV. Have a good night.